Okay, so I've put in my 316 sand mill. I've wiped a little oil on my plate. And you can see I have the depth just above my plate. Okay, I've adjusted my little set screw already so that I have uh, pretty much zero. You know, that there's really nothing here anymore. But like I said, it's not too tight that I won't be able to move this up and down, but tight enough to take out any of the play. My little screw stop here prevents it from going up any higher, so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have already have the bit located in the first hole in the corner where I'm going to plunge. And when I do this, I go right to size. Like I said, it, this really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be that accurate. So rather than, you know, doing it and then coming around for a finished cleanup pass, it's just not necessary. So I'm going to try and talk while I'm cutting to explain what I'm doing. Uh, but if you can't hear me, I think you'll get the gist of it by just watching. So I'm going ahead, I'm plunging down. Okay, I'm going to lock out my Z-axis now once I'm down. Another thing is, is as I'm moving in X, I want Y locked out. Then as I move in Y, we're going to lock out X. So the first move I'm going to make is going to be in X. So I'm backing off my stop. in my line. I'm going to bring it down. You really have to lock them out because if you don't, it's going to kind of move diagonally on you. The cross table really isn't that great, but if you do it this way, it works pretty good. So I got to bring this to 5 .7. Just do a nice slow moves. It gets really sensitive when you start getting towards the point you want to stop, so you got to move. Again, locking out my Y, loosen my X, and I'm going to come back. To 7, 8, 6. Tighten my X, do my plunge, lock out my Z, gonna loosen my X, bring it to the next corner. Loosen 
business, bring my bid up to the stop, loosen my X, bring it over to the next one. Five, five, nine. Tighten. Do my. You can see how it goes in pretty good. There's no real play there. Tighten out my Z. Loosen my X. This is going a point eight two one. Tighten. Loosen. Lift my head. I can turn it off. And go ahead and brush this off. Loosen my axis here. Go ahead and you can see. There it is. So like I said, now I'll come back and I'll drill out my holes uh, for the finished product. But you know... If you take your time and you're patient, it does it all right. You can see I ran through that pretty quick. And, uh, you know, that's it. So I hope this was another helpful video. And uh, every opportunity I get, I'll do more. Thank you so much for watching.